Hey guys, um, I'll just be going over everything pretty much in this video uh, regarding like the Ezio update and whatever um, character coming out. Uh, I'd like to start off by saying that I can't hear myself right now, so I don't know how the audio quality sounds. So um, it's a bit unfortunate that my audio jack is uh, broken at the moment. So yeah, I can't hear what I'm recording. So hopefully the audio quality and everything is fine. I just wanted to get this video out. So first of all, let's go over the stats. Uh, the stats are five, seven, four, and six, which are pretty okay stats. Not the best again, um, but hey, who cares, right? Uh, it's still decent stats. It could have been a lot worse. Um, so yeah, I thought he was going to have a bit higher defense personally, but apparently not. Um, so yeah, these are the stats. Okay, so Sword uh, Ensig. Um, Sword Ensig looks like the animation mixed between a Cross Gauntlet Ensig and a Yumiko Hammer Ensig. It's really strange, like if you actually look at the animation and compare them, they do kind of look very similar between Yumiko and Cross. They like mixed into one. Um, I think it looks cool regardless, and it looks like a low recovery move. It does spike at a pretty good angle, um, does seem to have pretty decent force, um, but we'll have to test it in game and stuff. But other than that, yeah, um, looks like a pretty good move. Okay, so Sword D Sig seems like a setup move. Um, the hitbox seems really weird, I'll have to look at it in game, it might be a bit deceiving. Um, it seems like this move is going to be very awkward to hit, to be honest with you. Um, I only see this working in a few situations. It does seem to hit behind um, in some of the clips, uh, obviously not on screen, but I have seen on the stream that it does hit like, a decent bit behind. Just have to see the hitboxing. So it, it might be a pretty decent move, we just, it, time will tell. Um, and don't we don't know if it has active input, they didn't show it, so yeah, no clue and the it seems to have low stun so i doubt you're getting many follow-ups off this i don't know if there's going to be any true combos from it it might just be a setup tool for something else uh, yeah i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen with it but we'll have to play the character and see how it turns out uh sword side sig sword side sig seems like a a very quick move to be honest it seems very fast uh, it seems pretty unreactable so far uh, at least what you can see, and pretty decent force for what you can see. Obviously, more testing is needed, and when the character actually comes out, um, very cool two two hit animation, um, or two part sig when you hit it at least. Um, so it seems very interesting, and uh, don't know about the hitboxing, but again, it seems very quick. It seems to have a pretty low recovery. Uh, obviously, more testing is needed. So yeah. Uh, Orb Dynasig sort of reminds me of Lin Fei's jumping animation on the Katars D-Sig. Sort of what it reminds me of. It does seem very quick. I don't know if it has a hitbox on the initial jump animation, um, but it does have a pretty decent splash hitbox from what you can see from the clips um, in the Twitch stream. Um, it seems to have a, a pretty decent overall like splash hitbox when you land, and it's relatively fast, so it doesn't seem... Like it's going to be extremely reactable. Looks like it's pretty low recovery. Um, also, sort of reminds me of Orbs. Um, so, sorry, Thor's Orbs down sig. Um, so yeah, I don't know. So it's pretty cool. Um, very fast move. At least what I can tell from the clip, anyway. Um, yeah, overall might be a pretty good move, especially to catch people coming back to ledge. So yeah. Um, Orb and sig. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna lie, from the clips that you can see, it doesn't quite show it off, but um, there's a small clip where they didn't hold it, and they just simply played the normal um, without hit animation of the NSIG. There's like a tiny little clip in the stream, I'll maybe put it in if I can be honest, but still. Um, looking at it, dude, it's cracked, like the, the hitbox in seems huge, we'll have to have a look at the hitbox one in game and test it. But it seems like it catches a few. It's gonna catch a few dodges, and it's extremely fast. Like the animation is very subtle. Um, it it's very short. Like the, the animation itself is really really short when you look at it. Um, when you look at that tiny clip, and it's it just looks kind of cracked overall. Um, I think it's gonna be an extremely fast move and good move. Um, 
yeah, we'll just have to see how the KO power. It seems a pretty okay force. Obviously, nothing like crazy. We just haven't seen it yet, but I think when it gets in game, this will probably. It it really does remind me of Petra or Vensig, but this is this has to be way better. Um, like I'm just gonna call it straight off the bat. This this looks insane. This sig, um, I think it's gonna be the best sig on this kit. To be completely honest with you, so yeah, uh, right behind a sig that we'll talk about in a second. Yeah, so the next one is going to be Orbside sig. Orbside sig, the the range is cracked like you can just see the range and how far it's gonna hit especially with the dash in I can see it covering at least uh, maybe half the three quarters of the stage of Brawlhaven um, it looks and it's extremely fast and it's it, from the clips I've noticed it seems to have insanely low recovery like anyone remember when fate side sig on orb used to like you used to just be able to jump out of like the recovery as soon as like the star animation ended you used to be able to jump before touching the ground that's exactly what you can do with this sig at least that is that's what it seems like from the clips um it looks absurdly quick and yeah it's a very subtle animation again it doesn't seem to have too much audio um like audio feedback either so i can tell it's gonna be very subtle and it, it's just quick bro like it is it, it's very fast um and the travel travel time like the distance to travel time is really really good uh, look, i can just see that off the bat so yeah it, it, this is gonna be a really good move um so right off the bat i'm just gonna like straight up say it you're probably just gonna want uh want to run uh defense stance yeah yeah it, it's just obvious to me you're, you're probably going to want to run on just defense stance. Either that or you can go for a glass cannon. Like either one. Um, but yeah, definitely defense stance. Uh, most most scenarios. All the skins look insanely cool. The I think it's called the Romulus armor or something like that from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Uh, the red one on the left in this clip. Really, really cool. Um, I love that they brought these skins. I really wish they did Altair too. Uh, like, uh, come on, man. You can't miss out on Altair. Um, I find that quite sad, actually. How they missed out on Altair. Like, the first Assassin's Creed. That, that's kind of a rip, in my opinion. But, yeah, I wish they did that. Um, yeah, anyway. Those are the skins. Yeah, these are the Hey... Uh, like, as you can see at the start of this clip, um, you're going to be able to see the KO effect that's coming. It's desynchronization. I, just, I really like it. Um, I really love the look of it. Um, and also the hey emote, which is just like the assassination hey emote. It, it's gonna look, I mean, I love it. I love it already. I think, like, I'm glad they did this. I'm really glad that they brought this emote. Um, it looks really cool. And it just looks funny. I don't know. <laughs> Hiding in plain sight, right? And then this is the free for all map that's coming. Oh, you've already seen the 1v1 map in the clips anyway, so it's fine. Um, yeah, uh, you can also go on top of the roof, which I found pretty cool. Um, I like it. I like the design of it. Um, I play a lot of free-for-all just because I find it the most fun, to be completely honest with you. I found free-for-all way better than even like experimental and stuff like that. It's more enjoyable. People don't play as a passive. I'm probably one of the people, the rare people that are like above diamond. Like, I've got... Over 10,500 hours in this game, dude, and I still prefer it, like free for all over any other game mode. Even if the, you do find uh, like bad players, still I find it way more fun. It's it's way better than a staring contest in one v ones, in my opinion, because people in Europe just play ultimately like the most passive thing you've ever seen. It's literally like fighting a plank of wood. So yeah. 